It's the year 2023 and Red Dead Online along with Red Dead Redemption 2 are still breaking records with more players playing this game today than at launch and that means more and more people are jumping into the game, helping to keep it alive, they're exploring the world, doing missions, ranking up, and one of the most common questions I get from beginners is what exactly they should buy in Red Dead Online when they get started. So today we will take that question head on and we will be discussing the best things that you can buy in Red Dead Online, the top 8 best things. There's not so much variety when it comes to vehicles and businesses like say GTA Online, but there is plenty to have hundreds if not thousands of hours of fun, and hopefully this video proves to be informative and helpful to both new and beginner players, as well as some of the longtime players who aren't necessarily new, but are still looking for ways to spend the money and gold that they've earned during their time playing. And I figured the start of this year was the perfect time to create a new 2023 guide on the most useful and best purchases, so here we are. As we break down each type of investment you should make in-game, if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything red dead redemption 2 and red dead online consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on Quick disclaimer, the following purchases in this video are in no particular order of importance. I'm just numbering them for the sake of helping you know the timestamps for each purchase or investment if you would look in the description or along the playback bar. Number one isn't necessarily the best and number 10 isn't necessarily the worst out of the list. In my opinion, they're all equally the best. So starting off with number one, roles that will transform the way you play by giving you more things to do with extra ways of making gold, money, and XP. There's so much to say about roles in Red Dead Online, but to keep it short for the sake of this video, the the Bounty Hunter role opens up so many new missions and pieces of content to enjoy. You can fight normal bounties, infamous bounties, or legendary bounties for insane amounts of gold and money. And the trader role, for example, allows you to start producing goods to sell to NPCs at your camp, and you can deliver these goods for a huge payday. It's the perfect role for players who love to hunt in Red Dead Online as well. The Collector role, on the other hand, is a role that allows you to search for and discover incredibly rare and expensive treasures. Despite the recent nerfs to this role, it's still the best when it comes to strictly money-making potential in the shortest amount of time in Red Dead Online. And then you also have the Moonshine role, which is a great majority passive business where you start a production of Moonshine and you sell that batch of goods later. Just like the Trader, it's very similar to a business in GTA Online. And then finally, we have the Naturalist role, a role that's not super lucrative on its own, but it's a very good role when you combine it with the Trader, as you can hunt legendary animals, which are worth a ton of materials, and then you can donate them to your Butcher's Table for your Trader role at camp. And once again, if you're interested in any of these roles in the game, please feel free to check out all my role guides, where we rank all the roles in the game from worst to best. Number two, we have a set of powerful and effective weapons. While eventually you're gonna wanna collect all weapons in Red Dead Online, because well, why not? There are some top picks that I think greatly outperform others when it comes to DPS, overall damage, accuracy, fire rate, and more. In the repeater class, it's hands down the Lancaster repeater. It's my personal favorite and it deals 42.55 damage per shot and the greatest accuracy of any gun in the repeater class is the Lancaster repeater. Next, we have the bolt action rifle. The bolt action deals 58.55 damage and it has a much faster rate of fire than the Springfield rifle, for example. Better DPS means faster and more consistent kills and along with the same great accuracy as its counterpart, the bolt action rifle is the objectively better standard rifle to be using when fighting enemies in the game. Same thing when it comes to the Carcano rifle. Another recommendation of mine. This sniper rifle deals 101.1 damage and it has a much faster fit rate of fire than the rolling block sniper rifle. The fire rate alone makes it much more useful in PvE due to facing groups of enemies and the DPS it offers makes it superior against tank builds and basically any other player in the game using health tonics, which are going to be the vast majority of players if you get into a PvP fight. I have many more recommendations like the Navy Revolver, the Lamat Revolver, Volcano pistol and really any shotgun with my two favorites being the pump action shotgun for PvE and the double barrel shotgun for PvP. If you'd like to learn more about some of the best weapons in Red Dead, check out my best weapon guides. Also link below and you can just search them up on YouTube. I break down each weapon class and we rank each weapon in that class from worst to best based on their stats and performance in game. Moving on to number three, special end game trinkets that give your character small boosts that make a big difference in gameplay and you'll find these available wherever Gus the Trapper is located and they're quite expensive as well. This is definitely end game content for Red Dead Online players. The boost that these trinkets give are kind of minimal in my opinion, but when you put in hundreds or thousands of hours into this game and that's all that's really left to buy is maybe clothing and every single colorway of clothing items, you might as well buy these trinkets as well and take advantage of these benefits, albeit small ones the trinkets have. Also, I have a trinkets rank worst to best video if you're wondering which ones are most important in general, specifically to you. Number four, a stable filled with fast, strong, and brave horses. 
Once you progress through Red Dead Online and continue to rank up, the difference in a horse's speed isn't necessarily all that important because the difference between the fastest and the slowest horse in the game is less than a 10% difference in top speed. However, when it comes to things like price and stats, like their health and stamina rings, then you should closely pay attention to which horse you're using and thinking of purchasing. For beginners, I can easily recommend the newer DLC Mustang horses in the multi-class because of their stamina and health rings being maxed out at level four bonding, their cheap prices compared to other top horses in the game, and the fact that their level restrictions have been lifted, so you could potentially get them at level one if you had the money already. Or you could check out what used to be my beginner horse recommendation, which was the Red Chestnut Arabian. It's a fast, sleek, and agile horse for a low-level player, and while the other Arabians are superior stats-wise to the Red Chestnut, this is a great starter horse for a solo player as well who's interested in riding this particular breed of horse. When it comes to high-level horses, and then honestly any roll horse is going to suit you just fine right there, the higher the roll level required, the better the horse, but there are of course plenty of normal level unlocked horses I love, like the Appaloosas, the Shires, and even the Clatterubers for example. If you're looking for more information on why some horses are better than others and which stats you should be focusing on depending on your level, I also have a horses guide where we rank roll horses from worst to best, that's also on my channel. Number 5, Fence Pamphlets. It should be noted that there are a lot of items you don't need to buy, and I would say that there are also items that don't do much for you when you buy them, but I'm not necessarily talking about those items. I'm talking about the newer skills and abilities that you can purchase from the fence, like the ammo pouch upgrade pamphlets to store more ammo than usual, and then other pamphlets like, for example, the wilderness fast travel ability. Players who've been playing Red Dead and have owned previous outlaw passes may already have this ability unlocked, as it was part of a previous outlaw pass, but when that pass expired, it went away, and players who didn't unlock it lost access to it, and this skill is a huge one to miss out on in this game. Then, when the Blood Money update released, Rockstar added the ability for players to go back and purchase some old, but not all previously old Outlaw Pass content, like some outfits for example, but then they also brought back the skill for the Wilderness Fast Travel ability at the fence, where you can read and learn this ability. It's incredibly important for you to get around the map quickly, either while you're out grinding or just playing and you don't want to travel with your horse all the way across the map and waste all that time of yours. Fast traveling back to camp is only $1 with this ability, as well as this ability is just a huge plus in general. Just make sure you already own the Wilderness Camp as a part of the Naturalist role though to take advantage of it. That may be my favorite skill that you can purchase at the fence, but again, I would also highly recommend you check out the ammo pouch upgrades for repeaters, rifles, shotguns, pistols, revolvers, arrows, plus certain higher level special pamphlets like the dynamite arrow pamphlets and pamphlets for crafting express explosive ammo, incendiary shotgun shells, explosive slugs, special horse medicine, horse meal, and toxic moonshine pamphlets as well. If you're interested in learning about the best pamphlets, again, I'll include a link to that. You can find that on my channel if you want to search it up. Number six, we have camp upgrades that allow you to get more out of your camp, give your character additional stat boosts, and more. And these upgrades are perfect for players who want to make their life on the frontier easier, whether it's the camp fast travel post that will allow you to quickly teleport to wherever you need to go once you leave camp, or the stew pot where you can make special and superior camp stews that yield gold health, stamina, and dead eye cores, a weapons locker to store unused or unwanted weapons, a deluxe campfire for faster cooking of meats, crafting of tonics, or even delivery wagons for your trader roll. Camp upgrades are the key if you want to have an easier time playing Red than online. It's even worth investing in the largest tent so that you can spawn into the game and immediately have your cores filled up to 75% of the way without needing to consume any meats you cooked. Finally, at number seven, we have roll upgrades to get even more out of the base rolls in the game. These upgrades supercharge your experience with rolls and these upgrades make every single roll better. Better. Don't worry about your roll tokens, you earn enough with each roll so that you can purchase everything and anything you want, so you might as well unlock the items with them, even if you have no interest on actually buying anything yet. But when it comes to roll upgrades, the horses, equipment like the reinforced lasso, the shovel, metal detector, the bounty wagon, wilderness camp, advanced camera, hunting wagon, and moonshine still upgrades are all more good investments to make in a red than online, and combined with the need or even just the mere possibility of acquiring everything else we talked about, this should be a lovely list of to-dos this year in Red Dead Online if you're just starting out. And as you can see from the speed of this clip, I had to speed it up almost 1000% just to make it fit in this section of the video and show everything off in its entirety so you can see just how much there is in terms of roll upgrades to chase and unlock in this game. And at number 8, we have another very important purchase, ability cards that give your character additional skills, 
talents and buffs to help you take more damage without dying, reheal faster, and become a better horseback rider and more. There are so many good ability cards to use, but my favorite loadout is Paint It Black for my Dead Eye card for easy headshots because it eliminates Bloom, and Eye for an Eye, I can get a bit of Dead Eye back just for getting every headshot in the game, Strange Medicine for chunks of health back every time I hit my shots and do damage to an enemy, and then finally Cold Blooded that allows me to reheal for a few seconds after I get a kill on an enemy. This ability card loadout allows me to become less reliant on tonics, and my ability cards do most of the work for me. There's many other great ability card setups out there, and if you want more tips and tricks, again, please check out my channel because I have tons of ability card loadout videos for more damage, all these different types of builds for all different players here on my channel. With all that said, I think that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. This was my list of the top eight best purchases, investments, and overall things you can buy in Red Dead Online. And when you break each one down, I think you get a ton of subcategory items within each of these things that allow you to get more out of your Red Dead Online gameplay, whether it's because of additional tools at your disposal, extra skills, helpful abilities, powerful weapons, fast horses, and even more end game upgrades once you've acquired all the basics that are a part of this amazing online experience. So with all that said, hopefully you've all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consider consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.